in a market where you don't have 802.11ax complete features of ST, then how can we achieve complete 802.11ax feature validation on certification? So, so that's what the Wi-Fi Alliance does. And remember, we, we talked about at the very beginning, what is, the, what is Wi-Fi 6? Well, it's a certification program. So the Wi-Fi Alliance has defined the, the devices that you can use to validate, that they'd use to validate Wi-Fi 6. So you don't really have to do your own validation testing. If, if it is Wi-Fi 6 certified, it's been certified against, against, those, types of, uh, um, against those types of applications and devices. So that's, that's why Cambium pays a lot of money to the Wi-Fi Alliance to be part of that organization, to get that certification, get that sticker. Now, uh, related to that is, uh, is uh, local type approval and regulatory approval. And, and so regulatory approval is really con considering, they're really concerned about two things. They're concerned about the, the uh, intentional radiated emissions. That means the, the, the RF that you want to be testing. And they're concerned about unintentional radiated emissions. In other words, the stuff that you, the spurious transmissions that can interfere with other things. And so in that space, they're not concerned about about Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6, 11AC, AX, that, that's not part of the testing because they're really concerned about the RF. So certification testing type approval can be done globally today. Uh, if you've been doing it with your 11AC products, you can do the same thing with your, uh, your Wi-Fi 6. Okay, last question. There's a lot of questions there, but this is gonna be the last question and we will close it out. So how do, we, uh, how do you design a Wi-Fi 6 network? What kind of tools do I need and what type, type of tools are available? So I can, I can take that one. Um, the, um, we actually offer a free Wi-Fi designer tool off our website uh, and, uh, and you can download it and you can import your images uh, of, your, of your house or your school, your, you know, any location. And then you can actually uh, bring in uh, the APs that you're looking at. And you can even compare. We have all of our uh, AC Wave 2 access points in there also. And so you can, you can compare and you can and give yourself kind of an, a nice idea of what, what you'll be looking at. It's not meant to be an EchoHow. Um, you know, there's a lot of great tools out there such as EchoHow that can really go and give you even more in-depth design and, and model. But if you're wanting to just get a start on um, and, and just kind of have something in your in your mind of, of getting a start on it you can just take and download your you know if you have a fire escape plan or whatever define your walls as either cinder block and or brick or you know drywall whatever and uh, it's really easy to give to give you a, a first glance and then you know work work with a, a partner or with your manufacturer on the next step but um, I think a lot of people you don't know what you don't know and so that's just a real nice down and dirty way to get started with uh, what what my wireless looks like and then you can take it down the path of okay I really want to see what my what two four is and my five gigahertz is and what if I'm doing software defined radios and I'm I'm bonding some of those together you can do all of that um, at a high level with our, our free Wi-Fi designer and then you can take that to the next step of you know working with a partner or manufacturer to uh, bring in, you know, a, a true EchoHow, you know, hard site survey. It's not meant to replace EchoHow or on-site, you know, test because it doesn't know what other interference zones that you have out there that you want to, if you want to do a true walkthrough, but it gives you a good start with it. Boss, what are you seeing out there for tools, uh, just uh, from an industry's well, perspective? I think I'll just basically second that. I mean, I, you know, there's a handful of very, very good uh, professional tools for for, for Wi-Fi planning and, and Jonathan men mentioned one and there's a whole bunch of other ones as well, not a whole bunch, but a handful uh, of good ones as well. But I mean, to get a good feel for, initial feel for what you want to do or what, you know, or, and, and how, you, how you might want to plan your network out and what the impact of Wi-Fi 6 is, uh, you know, it's great to, to have tools like the ones that Cambium provides. I think that's, that's a great way to go.